You know, I've decided I've moved in to my new place and uh, it's great. It's the first time I've ever, ever been out on my own. Um, I planned for a year and a half, so I have all the towels and shit that I need. Um, toothpaste, all the stuff that people forget about. Pot holders. Um, I don't think we had any pot holders, so the first time we went to cook, we were kind of screwed. Um, yeah, so we're moved in. Everything's kosher as Christmas. And then, and then something just, just skitters across our, our happiness. I found a fucking roach. One roach. Single solitary roach. They scare the fuck out of me. I, I, I can't deal. All right, when I see one, I just, I don't like it. I have to send in Abby. Abby has to be the man in the relationship at that moment. Go down there and kill it. So I'm assuming the people before me weren't as clean. Like they didn't like clean out all their, like their kitchen or whatever. And, uh, or maybe they're coming from the attic. I, I don't know, I, I have no idea. The place I'm at right now is really wooded. So they're, they're just gonna be here. I just gotta make sure that they don't get in. Um, or once they get in that they're, you know, it's like the most inhospitable place around and they leave. So I went out and got two things. First things first, I got this uh, hot shot bait. This stuff's fantastic because the bait, they eat it and then they go back to their stupid nest and, and they die. And then the other roaches eat them because they're cannibals and they're fucking uncivilized. And then I got this stuff for the wood ones called uh, boric acid. Well, this stuff is hot shot roach killing powder with boric acid. And uh, this stuff, you sprinkle it on the ground and they walk across it and it fucks with their metabolism or something and they end up dying. I don't know. I guess it's like salt on a, a leech or whatever or on a slug. And then the third thing I got was a Coca-Cola so I can sit back and enjoy the show. All right, so first things first, I'm uh, planning on basic, I don't even know how this stuff works. What is this, the, okay, that's the plunger. And then it comes with the tube. And then what, you just slip this off like that. Pull out the thing, I'm hoping, is that what you do? Get out of there. And then don't touch that, I guess. Put that right there. Plunger in, so fit. Get in there, you little bitch. There we go. Ah! <laughs> there we go. Ah! It doesn't work. Oh, let me readjust my little camera harness. Jesus, get in there you little fucking two-time bitch. Oh shit, oh no, oh, oh, oh no, like, oh fuck it, oh, like three dollars worth of, oh, that's all in the, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. <clears throat> I can't, oh, I'm going to blame this on Abby. Oh, I can't believe she did that. Oh, that is ridiculous. Anyways, what you're supposed to do is apply this shit to places that you think roaches are going to be. Um, I have a feeling they're going to be in like little crevices and stuff. So that's where I'm going to put it. First things first is I'm going to put some right here. And they eat it because they're big stupid animals. And I'm going to put some back here as well. Okay. And then, you know what, fuck it. I'm going for round two. I'm going for over here as well. Okay. But... Um, they're not only high up, they, they like electrical stuff for some reason. That's their thing. Um, I'm going to put some along this poorly caulked backsplash near the, uh, stove. They like stoves for some reason. Fuck, god damn it, you can't do like a consistent amount. I just like put a shitload over there. All right, so these uh, kitchen cabinets, um, they love these things because of the sink sprayers. Uh, sink sprayer has a hose that comes from the cold water side all the way up through basically a little tube neck holster that holds them up um, next to the faucet handles. 
and when people spray their dishes and stuff, water goes back down <clears throat> the hose and into the sink cavity, so that's a good source of water for them if people use them consistently. Abby uses hers all the fucking time, so, uh, yeah, so I'm going to move all this crap out of the way and put a line of bait down here. I'll put it, I'm just going to put it at the corner, make sure that we don't reach this stuff. What some people tend to forget is that they have a whole room that's the size of their house in the attic. It's above your fucking head, dude. The whole thing's accessible from the outside in. Roaches can get all through in the, the soffit vents, gable vents, and so if you have a hospitable environment, food and water in your home, they're going to find a fucking way in. You got to do something about it. The only thing that kind of excludes you is if the actual environment around your home isn't something that they're into. So if you have like really sandy soil or something like that, it might not be a, a big place for them. Not a lot of trees. Um, if you're up north, I know they don't like colder climates a whole lot. If you're gonna handle roaches and stuff, you gotta you gotta poke your head up north, man. You gotta go up up into the thick of it. You gotta figure out what's what in the butt up there and see uh, see if you can take care of it. You know, I doubt they're just chilling in your in your kitchen. Just hanging out there? No, man, they have, a, they have a headquarters. They're probably up there. Now, if sometimes they'll make their nests in, like, the back of a drawer or something like that. If you're that fucking disgusting that they made a nest in, the, in your, like, silverware drawer and you weren't aware of it, well, then <clears throat> the best course of action is for you to go buy a gun and shoot yourself in the fucking face because that's disgusting as shit. Just fucking kill yourself. Okay, so I got the uh, this hot shot stuff, and this time I'm gonna go ham egg and cheese with the uh, boric acid too. Uh, this is the scuttle hole. I'm not sure how everyone like. I know a lot of you guys are European or whatever, so I don't know how. Jesus Christ, Abby's already. We've been here a week. She's fucking packed the whole goddamn closet. There's fucking oodles of everything here. I didn't know this lady had this many clothes. Anyways, this is the uh, scuttle hole. Um, I hit it like that just so stuff gets off top of it if there is anything up there. Hey, insulation. Alright. Is there a place for me to put this? There we go. Very nice. Alright, let's see if I can get you closer. So, this might be hard to see, but you see all that black shit on the decking? That is, uh, that's roach feces, scat. They, uh, they leave that around wherever their nest is or whatever. So maybe their nest might actually be within the interior of this flue right here. Um, this is the stove vent exhaust. And I'm hoping it's in there. This is the air handler I was talking about. So that's the proximity of it. And this would explain why we had that roach in the kitchen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line the top of that with a uh, bait and then fucking spray boric acid everywhere hopefully that'll work eh. all right so uh yeah i guess i guess you guys can stay along for the show if this i'll see if this even works i'll put some more right here and even more right there okay Done with that. Now to open up the gruesome tooth. Fuck! This thing has a goddamn cut lid. How the fuck am I supposed to get into that? Alright, we'll come back and do that round two. Alright, well, I forgot I had a knife on me, so this is what I was talking about. The lid is plastic covered. Um, hopefully I can... There we go. Um, put a little notch on top of it. Let's get powdering, baby. Alright, so I see that this one, there's a lot of roach droppings down here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to line the bottom of this flue with this boric acid. Spray it in here. I'm going to spray some underneath into the cavity right there. Hopefully that won't come down and rain all over our food. Because that, that would suck. I'm going to go ahead and just line 
top of this right here. And hopefully that gets on Abby's clothes and irritates her. Groovy! Wow, that's way too much. They say you can like put it on there and then sweep it and I hope that's true because it looks like we have a fucking cocaine line going down our threshold right now. Just because this is the area where our trash can is and our recycling which has like coke cans and stuff in it, um, I want to make sure I'm going to put uh, a little line of boric acid along the corner of the molding here um, to hopefully prevent any roach activity. I'm just going to put it in the grout line. That should take care of them. There we go. Beautiful. You know what, just because I'm an all out kind of guy, I'm also going to put some um, around this refrigerator that I put bait around as well. Um, I'm not sure exactly where they're coming from. I'm going to go ahead and spray some in this cavity between the actual refrigerator and the wall. Because maybe they're back there, and since I can't move this stupid thing. Wow. That was a lot. <laughs> And uh, I'm going to go ahead and do some underneath as well. Cool. Get these stupid little mats out of the way. We need to mop today. And that should get them all. Now here's what I was talking about with the uh, that cavity at the top of the chase. See, a lot of times they'll run these, um, what are these things called? the stove vent exhausts, they'll run them into the wall. But uh, since they did in this particular place, they have a chase. In between here and the flue, there's a void that goes all the way up into the attic. And they're, basically they're available to walk between it. And down into our kitchen where we have all the goodies to eat. So hopefully that's taken care of them. I don't know if it has. Um, I guess I'll give you an update in a week. I think an important part of roach hunting is getting inside of the roach's head. You really need to think like a scumbag. Hides in the corners, in the dark, avoiding contact with the light, eating other people's fucking food, like that fat guy at the office that clearly sees your name on your fucking lunch in the, in the fridge, yet he still eats it just because he's a cunt. That's what it's like to be a roach. So you need to think like him and think, where the fuck would they hide? In crevices, small places, edge of floorboards, dark places, in the ghetto. They hide in places that no one else would think to look. They hide next to things that haven't been touched for years. They're probably hiding right next to your penis. Bing!